So let's walk through um, what we have today. So I'm going to pull up a little quote here, benefit of a prop. So if there's all of this destruction going on in the world, how in the world can we grow earnings? So there's a great quote out here. Uber, the world's largest taxi company, owns no vehicles. Facebook, the world's most popular media owner, creates no content. Alibaba, which is the Chinese Amazon, the world's most valuable retailer, has no inventory. And Airbnb, the world's largest accommodation provider, owns no real estate. So something interesting is happening out there. And we agree 100%. And if you look at your little, you can white out your, your answers, because Airbnb was your answer there. <laughs> so whoever's been coming long enough knows to bring their little white out. So that was a trivia question. So something interesting is happening there. What is it? It's called creative destruction. Has anybody here heard of creative destruction? Yeah, this is not a new concept. So creative destruction. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the process of incessantly destroying the old one and incessantly creating a new one. So this is basically nature. It's going in and tearing down the old and bringing a new. This was coined by Joseph Schumpter in 1942. So the stuff we're talking about has been around forever. So it's just different now. So when we look at this, we say, OK, that's been going on forever. We have to adapt to that. So just to prove that this has been going on forever, you remember these things? So the buggy whip, it was creatively destroyed. The well, if you're on a farm somewhere, you're still using it, but most people are using tap water. The typewriter, the thing on the bottom left, so I don't even know what that thing is. That thing's been gone so long. Does anybody know what that is? Phone, gramophone phonograph, right. Very nice. So it's been a while. So this has been going on for a long time. So with that knowledge, we have built our process, whether it's small cap, dividend select, large cap, we have built this process embracing creative destruction. We love change. And our change-based investing is ideal for identifying new opportunities. That's the fun part. So let's walk through for some new people and the people who've been here a little bit. These are the four building blocks for our process. And we're going to walk through several examples that fill this out. So the first thing that we do is you have to identify change. So what's going on? And then today, with the, the Uber, et cetera, what are the new products? What are the new markets? Once you identify it, then you got to figure out what's it mean? How big can this market be? How valuable can this company be? That's to quantify change. Then to verify change, while we think we're scarecrow smart, we still have to verify with other people to say, this is what we think it's worth. What do you think? So we talk to people in industry, people that know the business, and we say, does this pass the smell test? And once we do all that, then we go back to Mr. Wall Street and say, evaluate change. What do they think it's worth? And if they match up the same numbers we have, we don't buy it because there's no value added. If we come up with bigger numbers, we're like, OK, this could be more valuable than what Mr. Market's saying. That's where our selective process kicks in. And as you can see, that's a very laborious product. It takes a long time to go through it, and it's a very selective way of looking at the world.